I'm Amy the Funny Lady, and this is my partner elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job. And today we are going to talk about house plants and flowers that you might have around your home that are safe and not safe <laughs> to have around your rabbit. First, let's talk about plants and flowers in general. How dangerous are poisonous plants to rabbits? Is this something that should be a major concern? The reality is most of the time plants are actually not going to be a major danger to your rabbit. The, they are herbivores and their digestion was made in a way that makes it actually less likely that they will be poisoned by plant substances than other types of animals that are uh, carnivores or just not don't have quite as much of a plant-based diet. Some plants that are toxic to other animals really aren't that toxic to rabbits. And most of the time, if a rabbit comes across a plant that is toxic to them, they might take a nibble and then decide they don't like it and not eat anymore. The problem with house plants is that oftentimes it's kind of a scarcity mindset for rabbits. So they'll come across a house plant, it's the only plant around, they'll start nibbling on it, even if it's not something that they would normally eat the whole thing of. Now all of a sudden they want to eat the whole thing because there are no other plants around. And a, a rabbit taking, you know, a few bites of a plant that's not good for them isn't a big deal. But if they eat an entire house plant or an entire bouquet of flowers that is poisonous or toxic to them, then that can end up causing some serious side effects. So we still want to make sure we take that into consideration with all of the plants that we have around our home. Now obviously we probably also don't have want to put the ones that are safe for rabbits in their reach also because they'll end up just eating them up and then you no longer have your plants anymore. But, but you at least know that it's not going to be harmful to your rabbit if they eat it. If you want lists that are a little bit more thorough, then you can check out my blog. I have links to the articles on my blog that go over these. So there's one that goes over poisonous plants for rabbits and there's one that goes over safe plants for rabbits. You can feel free to check those out in the description below. So safe plants that you might have around your home. The first one we'll talk about is roses. Roses are actually very interesting because they actually have some medicinal effects for rabbits also. The entire rose plant is actually safe for your rabbits to eat, but the rose petals in particular are actually kind of healthy for rabbits. They are a very mild anti-carcinogen, which means they make it a little bit less likely that your rabbit would develop cancer. The rose hips also are believed to help a little bit with digestive health of rabbits. Herbs in general tend to be great houseplants to have around when you have a rabbit. They are very healthy and yummy for rabbits, so just about any kind of herb, just about any kind of herb. So I have tried growing parsley and basil for my bunny, but you can also grow other kinds also. And I know many people keep these as houseplants inside, maybe in their kitchen window or something to use with their food. You can also give clippings of it to your rabbit because they are perfectly safe for your rabbits to eat. And, and, and they're also even very healthy for rabbits. These are houseplants that if your rabbit gets to them, well, I mean, there goes your plant, but at least you know your rabbit is not going to have any kind of digestive problems. They, they are very healthy for rabbits. Another type of flower you might have decorating your home is sunflowers. You can put these in a vase, making your kitchen all pretty with the, the beautiful sunflowers. And if your rabbit happens to get at it, it's okay. They can have a sunflower. It is perfectly healthy for rabbits to eat. I mean, you, you certainly don't want to give your rabbit a gigantic sunflower and just let them have at it. It's actually probably a little bit much if you want to give your rabbit sunflower petals as a treat, that's okay. But it isn't going to harm your rabbit's health. It's not toxic for rabbits. Sunflower seeds, interestingly, are one of the few types of seeds that are actually safe for rabbits to eat. Obviously those should also be given as treats, but you can give your rabbit some sunflower seeds if you want to. If you're looking for a succulent that would be safe for your rabbit to eat, go for the jade plant. Most of the time rabbits aren't going to try to eat uh, succulents anyway. They're not really the texture that rabbits normally go for, but every once in a while you'll get a rabbit who will eat literally anything. So uh, not all succulents are great for rabbit, but jade plants are not toxic. So that is a good choice for you and 
From what I've heard, they're supposed to be very easy for beginners to grow. So if you're looking for a first-time plant, that might be <laughs> that might be something to try. Uh, I'm personally not that great at growing plants, so maybe maybe I should try getting a jade plant. And another type of common flower that you might have in your home are orchids. These are perfectly safe for rabbits to eat, not toxic in any way, any part of them. Uh, of course, orchids are probably a little bit too expensive to get your rabbit as a snack, but you do know if your rabbit does munch on your flowers, uh, at least you don't have to worry about your rabbit's health. <laughs> Now let's go into just a few plants that are a little bit toxic towards rabbits. Now, as I said, most plants are not going to be severely toxic. I would actually be much more concerned about any added pesticides or possibly toxic chemicals in fertilizers that are used than I would be about most flowers themselves. But it's still a good idea to keep these away from your rabbit because if they eat a lot of it, it could definitely cause gastrointestinal issues which can end up leading to GI stasis or other health complications. So definitely best to keep these ones completely out of your rabbit's reach and be a lot more careful with these plants. The first one that I will mention is lilies. Most types of lilies are toxic to rabbits, mildly toxic, like they'll cause gastrointestinal problems. So it includes lily of the valley. It includes peace lily, which I believe is a pretty common house plant. So definitely you wanna keep these away from your rabbit. Hyacinths also can be toxic to rabbits in large quantities. Uh, so this is the entire plant. It includes the flower, stems, roots, leaves. Uh, so you definitely want to keep this away from your rabbit. Again, not severely poisonous. Like, don't freak out if your rabbit takes a bite. But definitely worth keeping out of your rabbit's re reach and being very careful of it. Rhododendrons are another type of plant that you want to keep away from your rabbit. So this includes uh, flowers like azaleas. Uh, these ones are a little bit more highly toxic than the ones that I've mentioned before. Not, again, not worth panicking, but if your rabbit takes a bite out of an azalea plant, they, there are some types that are grown indoors and they are also used as decorations, I believe. <laughs> if your rabbit takes a bite out of these, then it's a good idea to give your vet a call and find out what symptoms exactly you should look out for. So you definitely want to keep these out of your rabbit's reach. Again, your rabbit is probably not going to have a fatal experience coming up to them for a nibble, but you definitely don't want them eating the entire plant or eating a, a large bouquet of the flowers. Most ivy plants you also want to keep away from your rabbit. So there are a lot of different decorative ivy plants that you can get to have around your house. Try to make sure that these don't end up draping too close to the floor so your rabbit can get to them. Because ivy plants, they have a very high concentration of saponins. This is especially true in the berries and the leaves that you might find of ivy plants. And if your rabbit eats a very large quantity of these saponins, then it could end up leading to anemia. So we do want to avoid them as much as possible. Again, a small amount, don't worry too much, but you do want to make sure your rabbit doesn't eat like your whole ivy plant because that can end up being very bad for their health. Chrysanthemums are another plant you kind of want to avoid. So with chrysanthemums, the flowers are actually safe for rabbits to eat. Most mum plants are in the same category also. So the flowers are actually safe for your rabbit to eat, but the stems and the leaves have a very high concentration of a compound called pyrethrins. This is actually a main ingredient used in a lot of insecticides and it's it's highly toxic to rabbits, so you really want to keep mum plants like chrysanthemums away from your rabbit. The good news is most of the time they, these plants have kind of a fuzzy texture that will make your rabbit not really want to eat them anyway, so it's not generally going to be something your rabbit goes for, but if they find it and it's the only thing available, they may try to nibble on it or eat the plant. So definitely best to completely keep it out of your rabbit's reach so that you don't have to worry about poisoning them accidentally. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in more information about rabbits and rabbit care, then go ahead and check out my other videos and feel free to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube knows you liked it. And thank you so much for watching. I do hope that we will see you next week.